Subdermal contraceptive implants. Subdermal contraceptive implants involve the delivery of a synthetic hormone progestin from the capsules or rods placed under the skin. They are all progestin releasing implants. They are mostly placed subdermally in the medial aspect of upper arm of non dominant hand, as you can see in the figure on the right side. Function of progestin it performs three functions it prevents ovulation, it thickens the cervix, and it thins the endometrium. We will discuss two types of implants here implanon that releases etonogestrel and no plant that releases levonogestrel. Number one, implanon. It is a small thin plastic rod that is inserted subdermally to prevent pregnancy. The rod releases etonogestrel into the body over a three year period. It is a half inch long hormone releasing rod. There is no estrogen released and it is effective up to three years. It is inserted in first five days of menstruation and it is effective after two weeks of insertion. It has not immediate functionality. It becomes functional after two weeks of its insertion. Implanon has its own inserter as you can see on the right side. This is the type of inserter of implanon. This is also insert of implanon and it has two parts, injector and a cannula. Injector that injects the road and cannula that holds the road. Implanon contraindications. It is contraindicated in MI history, stroke history, DVT, allergy to implant and breast cancer. Side effects of implanon. Menstrual irregularities, vaginal inflammation, headache, acne and breast pain. No plant. It is a sustained, released. Progestin only system that consists of 6 silicone capsule. Each capsule has 36 mg of levonogestrel. So a total of 216 mg of levonogestrel is released. It does not have a special inserter. It is placed subdominally by making an incision in the skin. And inserted in a fan like fashion as seen in the figure. It provides protection for almost 5 years. As compared to implanon that provides protection for only 3 years. So it is more effective than implanon. And it starts functioning within 24 hours after its implant. As compared to implanon discussed previously, that takes two weeks after its insertion to become functional. Advantages It can be used in women who have falling conditions, lactating mothers, smokers, old age, hypertension. It is not used in women who have falling conditions, liver disease, pregnant women, a history of MI, stroke, or DVT. Thank you.